Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will see how we can install Python web app in Windows VPS using IIS. This video is basically the continuation of the series where we are learning how to manage web hosting on unmanaged VPS. So I have uh, many videos in this series. One of the video that I recommend you to watch first is that how to install IIS in Windows VPS because once you watch that video and install the components then only you will be able to deploy flask web app in windows vps second thing is that this is not a flask uh, tutorial so the flask app is already with me and it is already uploaded in github i will put this link in the description you can uh, download these files and you can try it out uh, in your vps as well now start so first of all you will have to go to a vps so in case if you are wondering what vps i am using then i am using vps from pi vps i will put a link in the description they have very powerful plans as well as some entry level and mid level plans so based on your requirement you can have any plans from them before proceeding further let me tell you you should have a python programming language installed in your vps so it's very easy you can follow any tutorial that is available on uh, youtube and you will be able to install the python uh, programming language in your vps now once you've done that and once you have the vps and once you installed the iis components just log into this uh, vps and uh, click on uh, server manager and from server manager go to tools and click on IIS manager so this IIS manager option will only be available if you have installed IIS service now and left hand side click on this arrow button and you will be able to see a section called sites under the sites you will be able to see all the sites that we have created now let me show you the flask uh, applications that I have so it is in my C drive and here init pub and www root and uh, flask demo so all the files related to your uh, flask web app you should put it under this init pub and www root folder so this path will automatically be created when you install iis service here now here you will be able to see a file called requirement.txt so basically this is this contains the libraries that is needed to run the flask web app in vps so you can see flask and wfast cgi two library we need so let's first install this and then we will proceed so for that uh, go to command prompt and uh, go to that particular path that is uh, init pub slash www root slash flask demo and here i have a file called requirements.txt so in order to install all those library we can execute command pip install fnr and then requirements.txt and it will download all the files and it will install those libraries in this vpn you are able to see the message like requirement already satisfied it means these libraries are already installed in this vps now let's go back to IIS manager dashboard and let's create a site so right click on this site section and click on add a website so let's give a name for the site I will give it a simple name that is a flask demo and physical path will have to give the path where all our files are located so in our case it's a C drive init pub www root and then flask demo folder and click on ok now bindings give uh, http and uh, ip address you can uh, give uh, the ip address of this vps server and port you give it as uh, 81 now if you have multiple number of website and if you want the port 80 or if you want the same port to be used then you must give the host name here it may be like xyz.com or uh, you know it's it may be related to your blog website so that custom domain name you will have to give and you will have to give and you will have to create a, a record 
then only it will work otherwise it will give you an error like uh, the website cannot be started because it is being used by another port so i don't have currently any post name with me that's what i that's why i am using uh, this uh, port 81 so let me click on ok here now you can see a site has been created but uh, now what we'll have to do is that uh, you'll have to click on this uh, main server name here and then you'll have to click on fast cgi settings and here you'll have to add application so you'll have to give a full path so full path is basically where your python.exe file is located and usually it should be on c drive then the python directory and then the python.ext python.exe file just uh, open it and you will be able to see the full path here now in argument you will have to give the path where the wfastcgi.py file is located so that usually you will find it in uh, c drive and then uh, you will have to go to the directory where python is installed so python 38 in my case now here we'll have to go to live and then uh, site packages and uh, here if you will type uh, w then you will be able to find a file called wfast cgi so let me just uh, copy this particular path and go back to fast cgi application settings and under argument i will paste that path and uh, don't forget to give the file name as well that is wfastcgi.py once you do that click on ok and uh, here you are seeing a error called fast cgi application already exists which is true and uh, if we will cancel this then you will be able to see this uh, settings now if you do not see anything make sure you follow the process that we just discussed and uh, once you add this settings here you can go back to the sites here you will find the option called handler mapping double click on it right hand side you will find a option called add modular mapping and uh, here request path give a star and in module just click on the drop down and select fast cgi module here now executable here you will have to give two path first path is basically where uh, the python.ex where python exe file is located usually it is on c drive python 38 and uh, it is not visible here so let me just uh, modify the file extension to dot exe and uh, we will be able to see the python dot exe file now click on open and uh, then you give a pipe symbol which is nothing but a horizontal line and now you will have to paste the path where wfast cgi file is there so in our case it's c drive python 38 live site packages and make sure you give uh, the file name that is wfastcgi.py and name you can give it uh, anything i am just giving a simple name that is flask demo now click on request restriction uncheck this box that says invoke handler and click on ok again click on ok and here make sure you select no and uh, now you will be able to see a handler mapping has been created here now if you will again click on the site that is flask demo you will be able to see the option for browse but before that go back to the directory where your python flask application is uh, there because you will have to do some modification on one of the file called uh, web.config now flask demo and here now you will be able to see a file called web.config now this particular file will be automatically created when you create the handler mapping now double click on it and uh, some configurations are there but you just have to add some few lines and uh, for that lines go to the github link that i provided in the description you can uh, 
find a file called web.config just uh, click on it and you will be able to see the content of this file so now copy everything that is starting from app settings to slash app setting and then go back to the VPS and uh, paste it below system dot web server now in your case you may have to modify a few things for example here flask demo so flask demo is nothing but the directory where all your flask app files are located and uh, under the python path you will have to give the entire directory path where your uh, flask files are located now once you complete these two steps you can just save it and uh, close it and uh, go back to IIS managers here again click on the site and uh, click on restart so once you restart it just click on uh, browse and let's see if this is working or not so basically it will open the internet explorer and it will show you the flask app so it is a very simple flask web app nothing much is going here it's only displaying the hello world but uh, this is the process to create or deploy flask web app in vps now if you have any question put your question in the comment section and i will try to clear it out don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that whatever new video i upload in my channel you will get a notification immediately